Let's do a quick summary of what GPT-3 is. Basically, this is a machine learning model produced by OpenAI, sponsored by Elon Musk, who pushed in millions of dollars into this project. You've probably seen a couple of examples of the use cases for GPT-3. I'd like to provide you with a few examples that we at DataAlliance.io use to for our clients to satisfy some sort of problem in the business scenario. We're going to continue this series with a new project, one that is pretty close to my interests which is music. A common point of discussion about artificial intelligence today is will artificial intelligence be able to be creative? A lot of people argue that this is not going to be the case. However, in this video I'd like to challenge that notion by creating some pretty creative song lyrics. Let's get into it. Let's first dissect what does it mean to be creative? My argument would be that if you are someone who comes up with something new, you could be in the, within the definition of being creative. Using this criteria, if artificial intelligence, and in this case the GPT-3 model, are able to produce new kind of lyrics that sounds cohesive and nice to sing, then we would be within the bounds of being creative. And I think you might get a little bit surprised with the results. For some context, why we are doing this is basically because we have a client that needs some lyrics and get some inspiration for writing new songs. The client have an artist that they think are producing pretty good lyrics so far, and we're gonna use those previous lyrics as input for our model so it can produce some new lyrics. If you're interested in the code or in the input data, you find a GitHub page and a Notion page down in the description. So as in previous projects, we're gonna do three things. We're gonna input some data, in this case, previous lyrics from an interesting artist. We're gonna run it through the model, and then we're going to get some output, which is going to be the new lyrics. Let's check out the results. I gotta be honest with you, the results from this are pretty damn impressive. These are the kind of lyrics that I would remember probably, because they're a little bit original, but also seems to have a good flow if you're going to produce this with some sort of general pop artist or indie artist. And what kind of implications does this have? Well, in short, you're able to be able to compute and create a lot of different, completely new kind of lyrics within a short amount of time that you can adjust, but the efficiency of having a skeleton framework of some new kind of lyrics and then adjusting them is going to save a lot of companies a lot of time, reducing costs and increasing profitability. And I find this to be genuinely pretty interesting because also the implication is going to be what will creativity in the future look like? Will it be some sort of stamp for when something is artificially produced? Or something that is just generally produced by a human? Will we see any sort of value difference between the two? And how would we actually be able to see if someone has produced it by themselves or if it's been produced by an artificial intelligence model? I think this is pretty damn interesting and the implications for the music industry is going to be pretty damn huge if I say so myself. With all of this said, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.